For the past year, the Fort York Food Bank in Toronto has seen a month-over-month -month increase in people needing help, driven mainly by rising food inflation. The registered charity is now serving over 3,200 people a week and needing to increase its purchasing budget to keep up with the demand. The situation is worse across the greater Toronto area where the Daily Bread Food Bank and other local food banks have all seen a dramatic rise in need. CEO Neil Hetherington estimates they currently spend between $1.5 million and $1.8 million a month on food alone, and prior to the pandemic saw between 60,000 and 65,000 clients per month. That number has now doubled. A recent video of a long line at the Fort York Food Bank has been viewed more than 2 million times on social media and has brought attention to the fact that household food insecurity is an urgent issue among Canadians. Despite the increase in demand, food banks are dependent on donations from their partner organizations as well as from local fundraisers. So what is causing the demand to rise exponentially? Food inflation has undoubtedly been one of the predominant factors. Prices of foods such as meat, healthy produce, and dairy have been at an all-time high due to the pandemic, making it difficult for people of all income levels to access basic necessities. A third of food bank users are also employed, but still unable to make ends meet. Hetherington believes this should prompt us to ask why and consider underlying causes of poverty. Food banks across the GTA have seen an unprecedented demand. More donations, volunteers and donations are greatly needed to support these hardworking charitable institutions. The people of Toronto can come together to help those in need by raising awareness and donating whatever they can to food banks. The need for food security for all Canadians is more important than ever. And by coming together to support our neighbors in need, we can only hope to make universal positive changes.